In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get files into Sim Theory so you can work with them. You might want to get files in to summarize a huge amount of files to extract information or just give the model and your agent context about what you're trying to do. So let's look at a few examples of how to do it. The first thing to take note of is what model you have selected. Now, I've got chat GBT for Otune selected at the time of recording this video. Now that may not be the best model available when you actually watch this video. So you can use your model library to pick a different model. At the time of recording, I recommend chat GBT for O, Claude Sonnet, or even the Meta Llama open source models for doing work with documents or document summarization. If you're doing work with image files where you wanted to understand an image or you just want to put a screenshot in or you're sharing your screen with the model, I would highly recommend using Claude Sonnet or a GPT model like 4.0. So in this example, I'll show you a real example of how you might use this feature in your AI workspace. So say you're a consultant and you're signing a new consulting agreement or you're sending a new consulting agreement to someone and you just want to check it and make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. So we can get that consulting agreement to our agent in a few different ways. I'm not going to cover screen sharing in this video, which is also a good way of doing it, but I'll cover everything related to files outside of that. So I'm just going to drag and drop the first file in from my desktop here. And it's just an example consulting agreement that maybe I've been sent. So this is a great use case for AI. So I can ask a question. Can you tell me anything I should be worried about signing this contract. So I can ask it a question. The file's processed and now it's giving me a breakdown of some of the things I should think about in here, like arbitration clauses, choice of law, and it's giving me recommendations as well. And so I could ask it now to go deeper into one of these topics. I can do that in a few different ways. I can just select this particular clause, click reply to, and then ask a specific question about its suggestion here to work with it. But I could also give it an example of a previous agreement I might have signed. So let's drag in another file and I'll say, I've signed this agreement before. Is this one similar? So you can see as it starts to output now, it's going to give me some of the differences between these two documents that I might want to consider. So you can see how useful this would be throughout your day, especially if you're doing a lot of document work. Now, the benefit of being able to add files so easily is that these files go into the context of the model and the context of the model just really means it's memory in this session. So it sort of understands what you're talking about and really you're guiding your AI companion throughout the day to say, hey, I'm working on this contract, help me with it. Even if you don't necessarily have any specific questions at the moment, you might want to upload it and just tell it you're working through it and what you're doing to get some general advice. And then it's in the context as you work. Now, this is also great with screen sharing because you don't have to keep uploading files or anything like that. It can just see what you're seeing. So that's covered in a completely different video and you may want to consider screen sharing. Let me show you one other way to get files into a Sim Theory session. So you can click the skills menu here and you can select Upload Files. And this is great for focusing Sim Theory on what you really want to do, which is ask questions and get summaries of a particular file. If you really want to focus in on the files that you're uploading, it works very similar, but it's also good if you're on a mobile device because you may not be able to drag and drop. So you can click the Upload button and select files from your computer. Now, it can handle most files. So you can add things in here like spreadsheets, even videos, audio files, uh, get summaries from recorded conversations or, or you know, a bunch of videos uh, that you might, might be relevant to say the law. So let's look now at images. Uh, so I'm gonna upload a Sim Theory email image that we sent out promoting a new image model, the logo for Sim Theory and say, can you Give me some suggestions for better copy on this image that are on brand. So you can see the two files have been added 
to my workspace. And now the model is looking at the images and giving me some ge- some suggestions. So you can see where innovation meets insight, empowering your vision, your strategic advantage, and so on and so forth. So you could iterate and work on uh, this. And I like to go back and forth with it so I can say, no, make it more professional, make it like this. Uh, and you really just go back and forth to evolve what I'm trying to work on. And I do this a lot throughout the day. Now, one of the best things to do here is use an agent. I'm not going to cover agents in this video, but using an agent with files is really helpful. So you can have a marketing expert and that marketing expert can understand the, like the about page of your business so it can crawl it um, and really understand your entire website, maybe your entire blog as well. So it really just understands uh, maybe the, the the brand vision and values and all those things. So as you're working, it's going to align it because it's that focused marketing agent for your business. So files and agents can work hand in hand to really enrich your AI workspace throughout the day. So that's just a brief introduction to files. Remember, you can just drag and drop the files into your workspace throughout the day, drag and drop screenshots in. And just work with the models. You can find the best model as well. If you want a second opinion, in this case, say I want a second opinion from Claude Sonnet, I can just switch over to it and say, what do you think? And Claude will be able to see all those images, everything that we've been discussing about in this particular session, and it will be able to make its own judgment. So you can see Claude's now saying simplicity is key, tagline potential, typography, and I could just go on and push on through the conversation. So that's a brief introduction to working with files in Sim Theory. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please watch some of the other tutorials, especially around screen sharing and agents to really enhance your understanding of working with files in your AI workspace.